Hello, Leo, and welcome. I'm Adriana. I'm a soul guidance coach. I help you choose growth and the healing of your inner roots. I have an intuitive message for you today. And if you're returning to the channel, this is a very different kind of message than what I do. I shouldn't say very. It's a little different than what I do. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to look at you. Ooh, great. This is awesome. We're going to look at you, the energy that moves you forward on your path, the energy that's possibly holding you back. And then I'll probably continue to draw a few cards just to see. All right, what moves you forward? Three of cups. What is pulling back is judgment. Okay, powerful cards here. I want to start with the sun because the sun is the ruler of Leo. And so this is about being in your element. So Leo, the short answer is being you. You are being you. <laughs> All right. So let me check in with my guides to see what the message is here. The sun is talking about you being in a state of love, being in a state of joy and embracing others. So again, you being you, you being the light side, the, not the shadow side, the light side of the Leo, right? And really embodying that energy of love and joy that is all encompassing, okay? And that radiates from the inside out, all right? The sun shines no matter if people are looking or not, right? This light is going to continue whether someone looks at it or not. Even in the nighttime, the sun is still shining. So Leo, that's something to take in because your light doesn't depend on who's around you. Your light doesn't depend on who's not around you, who's looking or not looking. This is about just being a constant force, a constant presence of light and joy and warmth, no matter what is going on around you. So what moves you forward is when you bring that sense of light and joy into a community, into a group setting. Not so that everyone else looks at you and brings that validation to you, but that you bring the love and the joy and the warmth and that's what helps everyone else come together. These three geese come together, and this, this card says celebration. They come as equals, all carrying something, and then they all both contribute to and receive this flowing energy of water. So this is a really awesome card, and there's even more in the background. And I think there's more on the ground. Yeah, there's more geese on the ground. So this is about the energy of bringing people together and creating community and creating joy and harmony. I keep saying the word joy a lot, but this is bringing people together, but through connection. And how do you start that connection? Through the connection to your heart. This is very different. So I'm going to use music, a musician, a hypothetical musician as an example to demonstrate what I mean. There are some musicians, many musicians, that are addicted to the applause and they come on stage because they want the validation from others. They, they don't really have it inside, they don't feel great inside, and so they come on stage wanting validation. And I think one way you can tell is the more ridiculous the antics, the more empty they are kind of in here, the more they're trying to bring in validation from the outside, okay? This is not a judgment about them. This is just a difference in energy flow. There are musicians that completely love what they do and would play in a closet with the door closed because it feeds their soul that much. And when that type of musician comes on stage, you feel the energy drawing everyone in and bringing them together. So it's the difference between like pure entertainment and true connection. The function of arts and music are supposed to be in their highest um, expression. It's about connecting people together, bringing them together. And that is your superpower, Leo. So when you use 
that inner sense of love, that inner sense of joy to bring people together. That's what puts you forward on your journey. Now, on the other side, we've got judgment. And my guides are asking me to be very literal with this. Judgment meaning passing judgment. Um, passing judgment is what prevents your self-love and your love from really expanding, right? Every time we judge ourselves or we judge someone else, the love goes in and in and in and in and it goes a little bit colder and colder. The second meaning with this judgment card is an unwillingness to rise up to your mission and some of that, much of that, all of that <laughs> in what we're talking about today is that just pouring out of love, sharing of love and joy. That is your soul mission. Even though it may not feel completely profound and huge and enormous, that is your soul mission to be sharing out this light, sharing out this warmth. Okay, let's get a couple more. We've got the devil. And we've got anguish. And these cards seem to me to be tying back to the judgment card, which is everything that is holding you back, things that are holding you back. Are they, they're not facing each other. Okay. The message in both of these cards is seeing through the self-illusion. When you have a harsh judgment about yourself, that creates an illusion because then it limits what you're willing to give to others and it limits how you're willing to express yourself. So when you judge yourself, you create an illusion. That's a really big concept actually. I've, I have never worded it that way before. So this is a fascinating message. Judgment creates illusion. And these illusions aren't there. Both of these cards talk about things that aren't there, but that get in our way that kind of sabotage us and what we're trying to do cause us anxiety. So no matter what happens, this is about loving yourself unconditionally and the fire and the power of that when combined with the amazing Leo energy, that is the gift to the world. So it starts with the self-love no matter what illusions you're having about yourself, you still need to have the self-love through there. And what's amazing is when we get that self-love shining through, that light cuts through all of this dark energy here. Okay? So it seems very simple, Leo, but there it is. <laughs> Dropping the judgment and picking up. Dropping the judgment so that you've shattered the illusions and allowing the sun to rise. I'm just going to leave it that way. All right, Leo, thank you so much for sharing your time and your journey with me. If you are curious about going deeper on your journey or you'd like to know how else you can grow and how else you can become a stronger force of light in the world, please reach out. Um, either through the description below or you can visit my website directly, soulguidancewithadriana.com. There's a lot of need for light right now, and there's a lot of call for light that is unimpeded by personal darkness. Does that make any sense? I hope that makes sense to you. We all have light, and your light is especially needed. So if you feel like you're not shining as strong as you can, um, there is help available if you would like to explore that with me. So I will look forward to seeing you next time, Leo. Have a good one.